My name is Robert Wolf. And I'm Shahid Saroop. And today we are talking about the ROC 960, a new 96 boards with the consumer edition specification. It's powered by the ROC chip RK3399 SOC, which is a dual core Cortex A72 and a quad core Cortex A53 SOC with uh, up to 2.0 gigahertz on all of the cores. It's powered by a Mali T860 uh, MP4 GPU, which can do from anywhere from OpenGL ES 1.1 to OpenGL ES 3.2 Vulkan and OpenCL. It has four gigs of RAM and 32 gigabytes of eMMC storage. Yeah, and for anyone who's interested, the folks over at uh, Vammers, V-A-M-R-S, have put together an amazing website called 96 Rocks. So 96rocks.com, you can find this link in the description here, but I'm gonna share the screen real quick so that we can kind of walk through some of the cool features that Sahaj was just talking about and elaborate a little bit more on some of uh, the more features that, that it has, some more of the features that it has. So as you can see here, um, a nice picture, I know I was showing the, the, uh, the board itself right here, because I have one in my hand, but um, as you can see, this is the board here on the website. Um, there's lots of resources for you to be able to click through, including documentations, uh, frequently asked questions, contact, uh, pre-orders, because it's not necessarily um, fully available just yet to purchase. But um, yeah, an amazing board. What do you think, Sahaj? Yeah, of course, uh, it has uh, HDMI up to 4K output at 60 Hertz. And uh, talking about the display technologies, uh, the USB type C port, which is usually used for OTG or ADB, uh, can also be used to output display via uh, display port 1.2. So that means uh, it can it can support USB to display port or USB type C to type C types of display with uh, large uh, resolutions. Uh, apart from that, talking about USB, it has one USB 3.0 type A port which goes up to mm -hmm. five gigabytes and another USB 2.8 port which goes up to a full speed uh, 480 megabytes per second. Uh, apart from that, we also have four lanes of PCI 2.1 uh, and they are in the form of an M.2 key M PCI connector. Yeah, so I wanna dive a little bit more into this board because it just so happened to have one on me. So I'm gonna stop the screen share here, but um, just like Sahaj was mentioning, right? So we're looking at the board here. Uh, if you compare this to the 96 boards consumer edition uh, specification, it pretty much follows everything. And um, looking at some of the main features on here, at least some of the hardware features on here, like Sahaj mentioned, you have the two USBs following the specification. You have a type C OTG port right here. You have the HDMI, the HDMI port, which is capable of what 4K you said? Yep. That's okay, pretty awesome. Minutes. Yeah, yeah and uh, l later on, we do plan on comparing this board to other 96 boards that are out there. Uh, 4K is definitely one of the higher end uh, consumer edition boards that we have out there right now. Um, one more thing I'd like to mention is, you know, of course, uh, being uh, a 96 boards consumer edition standard, you also have the standardized uh, low speed header and the standardized high speed header, which allows you to adopt the entire 96 boards ecosystem as it is right now. And I'm gonna share the screen again so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. But right as this image pops up, of course, um, an open ecosystem. So the unified expansion header allows you to consume and you know essentially play with um, a variety of software libraries that have been enabled by the 96 boards team, the community and other developers that are out there working um, on boards and chips like this. Yeah, and if you haven't already noticed, uh, the actual SOC is actually on the back side of the board, and which I personally think is pretty awesome is that if you want to have a big heatsink attached to it and you want to run it for a long period of time under stress, you can actually do that without blocking the uh, expansion headers. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I want to share. I want to share this. So, so I have the whole kit here, right? So, Haj, I hope you're not too jealous. But we have. Uh, right, let me let me un unshare the screen one more time. But um, I did a small small video on Instagram um, about this particular uh, kit and the unboxing experience, which we do plan on sharing. But inside the, the Rock 960 kit, you get this uh, nice little laser cut case, right? And just like Sahaj is saying, 
because the chip is on the backside. Uh, the folks at, at Rock 960 or at Vammers thought of everything. I mean, they put the uh, the cutout in a perfect location for the chip so that uh, if you added a heat sink to this, which also comes in the kit, um, it basically plugs into it and or it, it uh, using the thermal material, it just sticks right on there and then pushes right out from the case. So it's it's kind of an amazing little feature that they did uh, uh, that they added into this kit, which I, I really appreciate. Yeah, so maximizing uh, your chip uh, thermally <laughs> by a uh, simple cutout in a in a case yeah so um sahaj i guess we plan on uh comparing this board later on in some later videos yeah of course uh we'll be comparing it some again some of our own boards and maybe some other boards we'll see but uh as for today that's about it and of course subscribe to the 96 boards youtube channel for more updates and don't forget to join us for open hours live stream every thursday at 4 p.m utc yeah, more questions can also be answered on the 96boards.org website. And please don't forget to visit 96rocks.com. All these links will be found in the description below. Sahaj, thank you. We look forward to uh, seeing you all awesome. next time.